here's this bow out. So there's a guy attacking the guard, nothing. He doesn't have an advantage, so then he bows out. Okay, here's an outlet. Attack hard, you got an advantage. Oh, they doubled him and stopped him. Now bow out, then we get into it. So this is the bow out I was talking about. Let's attack first. Attack, he doesn't, he gets nothing off the attack. Now he bows out into a pick and roll. Okay, and here's, I think this is the last one. Nothing, so then he bows out. So just keeping that defender engaged. So here's the screen angle. This is out of pistol, but there's that angle where the guy forces him to go over. That's just his footwork. The red is the defender's feet and the white is the, the screener's feet. If you notice every time here, that screener is setting it with his top foot, even with the defender's foot. He's not getting too high, which would allow that defender to slide over the top of the, or underneath the screen. All right, gets cut one over. I think there's one more of a screening angle. All right, there's a screen angle there. We run a twist. There's that other screen angle, force him to go over. Now there's one more. This, this should be the last one on your screen angle. Again, just notice how where he's at, right? He's and then if you do that and he tries to go under, there's a lot of room to shoot that shot if he tries to go under. Now this you got to engage. So he got off him first, and then he had to re-engage him before he came off of it. I'm gonna show that one just again. But as you notice here, right, he comes down, he backs off, so he's got to re-engage before he uses it. And that re-engagement, which has allowed this whole thing to happen. So make sure you're engaging your defender before you look to come off the pick and roll. Engage that defender. Now we're going to get into a deep pick and roll here. Cut Phil off that into a switch. And now we're flowing into our third phase. Again, JJ here. JJ was, God bless him, was a, not a, a skilled scorer, but he did do what we asked really well, and he made a lot of things happen. Now here's the downhill attack. So there's an angle. There's our guard getting downhill into the paint off of it right away and not coming off of it where you're getting all the way to the top of the key. Um, we were probably better at teaching this at Rhodes, our Pacific guys. We really struggle to get them going downhill. They tend to want to go off of it more sideways. Um, there's a little bow out. There's him with a good angle, him getting downhill. Another downhill attack. Again, good play by JJ, way to use his body at the rim. Now this is the quick roll. Once you get there, get off of it fast. And the faster you get off of it, the more you're gonna put pressure on the help defense to have to make a read and get there. There's another one, Andrew is as slow as you could possibly imagine. And Andrew did a good job of just going as fast as he can to get there. And it looks slow, but Andrew uh, was not gifted with speed. There's another quick roll. Good job by Andy there. Here's another one. As soon as you get off, get out there. And he gets down there, puts that throwback defender at a, at a position where he's got to make a decision. 